I'm going to talk about watching now. And this is again related to debugging in Visual Studio. What is watching? Specifically, I'm going to be talking about quick watch and watch windows. So what are they? If you watched my other tutorial on locals and autos windows, it kind of works very similar to that. The only difference with a watch window is that we can choose what to add in there. But not only that, we can evaluate expressions. So what does all that mean? Let's check it out. So right now I have a sample application, our little calculator application, if you've been following our other tutorials. I've just added a random breakpoint here. So I'm in debug mode. I'm entering a debug session. The debugger is attached to our software. It's asking for two numbers and an operator. So five plus six. And now our breakpoint has been hit. The software is frozen. We can examine the variables. So right now, um, if we come down here, we have our familiar locals window where we can kind of look at the value of the current variables in the current scope. So num1 is 5, num2 is 6, the operator is plus, and the result is 11. So these are values of all the variables in the current scope. Now watch window. So if we come up here to debug, and then go to window, and then go to watch, you can see there's watch one, two, three, and four. That means we can have up to four watch windows. So four watch sessions. <laughs> so let's talk about what a watch session actually is. So I'm going to click watch one. And if we come down here, you can see there's a watch one tab, which has been created alongside locals, autos, and now we have a watch one. And you can see here, it says add item to watch. So what does that mean? Well, we can watch anything we pretty much want to, like variables, objects, for example. So if I come up here to the code, we have these variables here. Num1 is 5, num2 is 6. If I right-click num1, I can come down this menu and click Add Watch. I'm going to do the exact same thing for num2. Right-click, Add Watch. If we come to the Watch window down here, we can see it works pretty much like our locals window. We have the variables we've added, we have the values, and also we can change the values if we want to. So you may ask yourself, well, why don't I just use the local window? It does exactly the same thing. Pretty much the main difference between the watch window and the locals window is that watch you can add whatever you want, and also you can add expressions. So for example, I could say num1, plus num2, and then hit enter. <laughs> so I've added a custom expression here. So now, through the lifetime of my pretty much debugging session, I know that the value of num1 plus num2, or sorry, I've put num1 there, <laughs> plus num2, if I can learn to type, is 11. So you can see I can put expressions in here. I could say num1 multiplied by the result. So I can put various custom things in here. And this is pretty much one of the main differences between the watch window and the locals window. So what were those watch one, two, three, four windows? Well, if we come up here to debug again, then windows, then watch and click watch two. Come back down here. Now we have another watch tab. So then we can add other variables here. Now these extra windows are pretty much only useful when you have a really large application and you want to kind of isolate certain variables from other variables just so they're more organized and you don't get confused. So if you're working on maybe a calculator application, you might want to put all your watched variables in this watch window. And maybe the calculator application has another feature that handles something totally different. And then you put your watch variables in here. So you're more kind of organizing your variables and expressions. And you can have up to four watch windows if you wish. So that's one of the kind of benefits and powers of the watch window. Not only you can view and change variables like the locals windows, but you can also add expressions in here. So that's pretty cool. And you're not limited to just basic variables. You can even call methods. For example, I have a method called calculate. And then I can calculate, say, 4 plus 8, for example. And then I can put that in there. 
and that gets evaluated as well. So expressions aren't just tied to simple variables, but we can just put, you know, entire method calls in here too. So it's really powerful and also really useful, especially when debugging quite large applications. And one thing I mentioned at the start of this tutorial was quick watch. So what is quick watch? Well, imagine you just want to watch one simple variable very quickly. Say you just want to check out one variable's value real quick. That's pretty much the only purpose of quick watch. So if I right click num1 for instance and click quick watch or shift and F9, this window appears. And when this window appears, you cannot continue debugging. You're pretty much just stuck in here. <laughs> so in here, I'm quick watching the variable num1. I can change its value. I can reevaluate anything I wish. And I can also change or enter any other expression. So I could say calculate. And it does have autocomplete in here as well. So if I want to say 5 plus 4 and hit enter, I can do quick expressions on the fly. But you get this kind of annoying dialog. And to be honest, I prefer just using the watch window because it does everything the quick watch does. But I'm just highlighting it because I know some people prefer to use that. I'm not sure personally why, but it is there if you need it. So that's essentially the message I'm trying to get across. But the watch window does everything quick watch does. So that's the powerful of watch windows in C Sharp.